Hello and welcome to the Status Report highlight for the 30th of May 2017. And of course, Creative Director Brian Hicks starts us off with the team is currently tracking feedback in regards to the following on 0.62 Experimental. Miscellaneous feedback in regards to audio volume, general audio system behavior, behavior of some trees in the wind. There are also some attempted fixes included in today's experimental update, which just went live as we speak. Collisions with some tree models, iron sides sometimes backing off after a few seconds issues binding some mouse keys. Next up, lead producer Eugen, who says the work on the new animation system and all of its features took almost a year and a half of work. Animations for all of our weapons, with variations from continuous reloading, chambering, magazine manipulation, jamming and more, took probably over a year in itself. All that culminating with implementation of aiming model that will support better implementation of recoil, sway, player turns, and even heavily improved manipulation of weapons in different stances. A whole lot of our content is starting to get implemented. As Eugen has said before, we're finally making a game. Instead of fully focusing on technology, in the list to follow, Eugen mentions the FNX and IZH-18, two weapons that are the first to be handled using the new system, and Eugen can't wait to have a shootout in the studio with the guys, once it's fully working internally. For all these things, user actions that enable player to interact with items and objects, weapons included. Synchronization setup that is largely inspired by what Overwatch did for their networking. Animation system that will make your avatar a living, breathing human. Damage system that is easily tweakable and supports all sorts of hit zones, impact animations. New particle effects and sounds. New character representation with all the things actually creating a survival experience. To give a glance at the currently open development items in our teams, programmers, UI inputs, communication systems, megaphone, static radio, public address system, weapon handling and aiming, vehicle physics refactor, vehicle control refactor, third-person camera collision changes, FNX basic state machine and script class, IZH-18 basic state machine and script class, animation events for player, performance optimizations for item spawning, physics collision system refactor and optimization, tons of crash fixing, tons of bug fixes, animators, weapon mechanics animation polishing, unjamming reloads, inverse kinematic poses, hit reactions on player, ranged combat prototype, player turn tweaking, designers, user actions in multiplayer, player representation, new player and item spawn definition, player action targeting and floating cursor, communication systems, tree collision fixes, advanced placing system, construction watchtower, disease refactor for new player representation, animation events for player, new zombie models, new player models, animation events for player, audio, positional environment audio tweaks, infected audio recording preparation, player and weapon animation events setup, QA, play testing the 0.62 update, 0.62 feature testing, internal client stabilization, user actions for 0.63 testing, and finally art, old assets rework, buildings optimization, and doors unification. These are thousands of hours spent on our side to bring the dream that is yet to be fully realized. Curiosity, creativity, community. Three pillars of Bohemia Interactive that we want to uphold. And finally for this week's highlight, sound designer Andre. We're happy to say that our new ambient audio is finally out on Experimental. We have rebuilt all ambient sounds and added positional sound effects on the vegetation. We are now testing the mix, repetition cycles, and we're listening to feedback from you and the QA department. So expect a lot of tweaks before the stable release. We are also preparing positional sound effects for the buildings, but that will have to wait till 0.63 because of some subtle changes to the building models. Apart from ambient sounds, we're actively working on beta preparation where we have thousands of new sounds for the new player and user actions. There is an audio recording session planned for next month where we're going to record new sounds for player as well as infected. We're also working closely with the animation department so you can expect many new sound effects for every new animation that will come with a 0.63 update. And that's all for this week's status report highlight. Of course, there is more information on the official DayZ website. And that's why, as always, I recommend you read the status report in full for yourselves for the most amount of information that they hold. But for now, have you tried Experimental 0.62? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, you'll find all relevant links in the description below. Remember to hit that like and subscribe if you like the content that I create. And I'll see you peeps next time.